Alright, what's going on YouTube? Long time no see. I've been kind of busy with some other stuff, but it sure feels good to be back. Anyways, today the topic at hand is as you could probably tell by the title of the video, MMR and League's ranking system. If you've played rank before, watched League streams or the like, you've probably heard the term before. In case you didn't know, it means matchmaking rating. In order to truly understand why it's important, we need to take a trip down memory lane. The elder of you guys probably remember a time when League's ranked system, instead of having multiple tiers, just had a little number attached to your profile. Your number increased as you won games and decreased as you lost them. Then, when you hit a certain threshold, or rather, your MMR became specific value, you advance to the next tier or drop to the lower one. Pretty simple, right? There's a small problem with the system, though. If you've heard of it, it's usually referred to as ELO in memory of its inventor, Arpet Elo. Wait a minute, where am I going with this, you might be asking yourself. Just bear with me, and trust me, there is some relevance to this story. So Mr. Elo invented this system to rank chess players a 1v1 game. League of Legends is obviously not a 1v1 game, and even though the system used might not be necessarily the same as regular old Elo, the similarities were strong enough to cause problems on a co-op game. To top it off, a lot of people back then complained how grindy it felt to play in the old system, and it didn't really feel like you were achieving much just by increasing and decreasing a counter. And Riot agreed, for the most part. Which brings us to the currently used system, Leagues. You're probably more familiar with this one. You start every tier at zero league points, and when you reach 100, you must complete a promotional series to advance to the next tier. The system encourages people to set smaller, more reasonable goals, which feel like they can be achieved easier than just a big old number. But wait, how does Riot then calculate how many league points they should give you for a win or a loss? What if I told you Riot still uses ELO to this day, but they hide it from you? Alright, <laughs> maybe it's not that traumatic, but yes, they still use a very similar system. It's just hidden from everyone. And the big old number they use is still in place, and is otherwise known as MMR. Whenever you win or lose, that number changes. And it's that number compared to the average or expected MMR to determine your LP gains, roughly. That much seems to be the case, whenever you go on a winning streak, your LP becomes bigger, and your losses become smaller. Likewise, if you go on a losing streak, your gains will become smaller and your losses bigger. It is speculated to a certain degree of certainty that MMR is what causes some people to even skip divisions, when they just win too much. Their MMR is too high for their division, so the system pats them in the back and gives them a thumbs up with an increase in tier. So that's how MMR works for rank queues, but every single queue in the game has a separate MMR, including normals. The only difference in normal games is that you have no rank to assess your MMR from a user perspective, but Riot still handles the number and it's still there. Keep in mind, however, since Riot refuses to share any more information about it or how it works, it might not be this simple, but it helps to have a rough idea of at least what's going on behind the scenes. If you'd like to learn a bit more about Riot's matchmaking system, you can visit the link I've left in the description, in which Riot themselves answer some similar topics to the ones we've dealt with today. Uh, but that would be pretty much about it, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of topics, and if you like ADC, you probably like the channel as well, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.